are you doing? Just looking for an accident? What if that candle blew out and you fell down the stairs? <sighs> One animation right here, just kind of uh, transitioning from a smaller text size to a larger text size. So let's open up a new Orto presentation. We do want it in that reveal format. We have a built-in feature, and that's just auto animating. And if we set that true on two different slides, um, what's going to happen is it's going to look for information on one slide and try to match it to information on my second slide. We'll just do a look at me on the first slide and then a look at me uh, and me too on the second slide. So there's our look at me. And then you get a little floating in of and me too. And so what fit text should do is it should actually take this statement on line 15 and it should fit it to the size of our uh, HTML screen. See what happens on slide one, it's the small look at me, and then it transitions to this larger. If we were to blow it up, uh, it will blow it up to the size of that screen as well. So that's our animation. Just from that simple auto animate equals true. If there's one more thing that might be useful. And that's code. So I actually have some code from some code from a previous live stream that we did when we were focused on fonts. And I'm just gonna go ahead and copy that code animation across slides one of the neat things is one of the ways that we could have shown um, the difference between the main font specification and the css call out that we did was we could use this animation so that animation was changing line 52 here so instead of using um, main font we actually had a css code that we had um, specified and we created our own font file, we called it font CSS. So now if I auto animate across these two slides, well, what I should see is I should see a changing of this line 52 in the bottom chunk and line 38 um, in the top chunk. Now there's another, there's another useful feature here in Quarto if we wanted to really make this stand up uh, and that's the line number coding and the command itself is code line numbers i'm going to specify this line 52 which in my render document isn't line 52 in my render document it's line five so i'm going to go ahead and ask for line five to stand out a little bit on this second chunk you could do it on the first one as well there we have a little more on the a little more highlighted it stands out a little more in terms of the code highlight specification what you see what you really see is you see the other code the other non-identified lines are muted um we talked about animations last week and so we didn't really get to visual animations but this is uh just a brief modification off of something that's on the quarto website uh, which is an animation of shapes across slides. If you want to match shapes, you have to be a little more specific in terms of giving uh, those different elements a different identification tag. And then those are going to be matched uh, across the two different slides. Again, consecutive slides with that auto animate equals true.